Hello there. I am Mr. Simon Tariq. Uh, today we'll basically work on our web programming activity. Uh, this will include um, the use of animations as a banner. Uh, it will have. Let me explain you the briefly what we are going to do in this particular project that we will work on. So what we will do over here is we will create a web page that will have basically a banner of a particular dimension at the top okay this will be provided to you the dimensions the examiner will tell you over here we will have some area for the links and then we will have this part for the content and if you come down over here this will have your copyrights and other stuff that usually you may want to display right so um, we have to make this entire table in HTML the random text that we will type over here will basically be will be provided to you the text you need to format this text use uh, using a particular format but this formatting will be done using a CSS file and this banner we will make a static banner it could be a dynamic banner we will have buttons over here these buttons we will make in flash right so um, <clears throat> I'll try to um, create a static banner with you and a dynamic banner both so that your concept is clear uh, so let's uh, start by first of all creating our static banner that's the first thing we'll do um, we just took a theme of furniture company they're launching a new new line of products so here we go new and we plan to make our banner which will be 1054 and let's say by 160 this is the size of our banner that we have let me view it at 100 percent you can see over here it's 66 percent so you can view the actual pixels this is the actual size let me now open up the images that i have to use so i'll be using it's on my desktop by the name of web activity so what i plan to use over here are the following so i will use this i'll use the following to make my banner here we go uh, these could be of different sizes keep in mind uh, you might be asked to crop them if they're of larger size you can crop them for example I want to crop them by 200 width and let's say 50 height you can crop a specific thing enter and you can file save as in a particular place we're not doing this right now I'm just telling you how you can make sure that the size of your pictures uh, remains the same for your banner okay so here we go I will add this here I'll add this here I'll add this here and I'll add this here okay I could have used the crop effect to do it but I'm not doing that right now okay I'll just place them over here one after the other I don't need this I got an extra one since I'm just making a very simple banner over here here we go right I'll save this as in the same folder as a jpg file and I'll save it as banner one I'll save it okay um, in order to make some changes to this what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring bring this here I'll bring this here okay and what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, just make this black and white right and right so I'll save this as again jpg banner 2 so we have two banners over here in our folder 
okay one is this one and one is this one static uh, I'll use these to make my dynamic banner so I'll open a flash action scripting 2 and 1054 by 160 these were our dimensions um, I don't know I always prefer using a black background so it's up to you or maybe gray one light backgrounds don't give a very professional effect so I'll press Control R to import uh, these two images that I will be using so I'll go desktop web activity here no open I will open up come here so control R uh, two right so first of all I have to see is yes exactly you can see my size is exactly the same that I want it to be like so here we go I have this over here let's put some animation effect I will take it till 60 so keyframe create motion create motion I would like to create place one insert keyframe here and one over here initially my banner will have and no opacity I will uh, will be not be visible when at the end same thing it will not be visible again so I could name this as my banner one add a new layer add banner two to this now my banner two will probably start from here okay insert keyframe so I'll add my banner two over here which was this one okay and goes till let's say 121 insert keyframe insert keyframe initially opacity 0 at the end opacity 0 if I press control enter this is what I see I could have a different effect by making this overlap this okay uh, we could even have something more right uh, we could add new layer and we could add some title to this for, for example what I'm trying to say is we could add um, could name it as I don't know I can't think of any name right now okay um, I have this cloud furniture sorry for my uh, ridiculous idea but I could not think of something important so cloud furniture uh, how will it appear um, what color should have you should use a color that should that will be visible no it's not visible if I use white um, okay fine we can use it but still it's not very much visible but, but it's, it's fine uh, what about if we use some blue but blue won't look much nice on this right so uh, you have to take care of these things it's really important but don't worry the examiner will provide you with this it's not something that you have to think over it it's just that uh, okay, fine we will leave it as white and will not waste our time so um, we will in great motion twin and I don't need this part frames so it comes to here and how will it appear uh, initially it is of a very small size and eventually it gets bigger okay and we can have another text which starts from here 
and it says um, all new ideas right in this case I would prefer using black all new ideas and I could have add so let's see what sort of right all new ideas could So this is what we made till now. <clears throat> um, well, uh, this cloud furniture obviously is not looking very nice, but uh, we're not wasting our time on this. Uh, it was all about to explain the concept. It doesn't matter how it looks right now. So let's leave it. I'll save this file uh, in my web activity and I'll name it as banner okay remember one thing as soon as I save it as banner I have the FLA file in your CI you have to provide the FLA file and the SW file both so once I press control enter you will get your SW file automatically this is the file that we will use in our dream page once you made the banner I would like to make the buttons as well because I have to use the buttons over there okay so I'll use flash again new and examiner will provide us with the dimensions of our button which is 100 by uh, let me show, yeah, by, by 40 okay this is the size of our let me confirm it once more um, this is 91 by 57 I'm sorry it's 91 by your 57 right I'll import these images that we have to use for our buttons these are the images that we have to use I don't have to use all of them so right here we go um, so I'll have this first okay now I could make this a button by hitting selecting this and hitting F8 I'll make it a button okay but I would like to do is if I press control enter I get but but I would like certain effect to appear on this or what I mean is when I bring the mouse over I would like this to this image change into some other image for that I have to make is a movie clip control F8 and I'll make is a movie clip okay and I'll name it as B1 since it was chair, I'll use a different set of chairs. I hope this looks like a chair. I don't know. So I'll place it here. Okay. And I'll take it till 15. Insert keyframe. Create motion and create motion. Initially, I would like the opacity of this to be zero. And when it comes here, I would like it to stop. So come reactions. And I would just make it stop. Right? Now since I can double click on my button come over the overstate insert keyframe and place my movie on top of this right now so let's see what happens control enter I get a different effect this is what I wanted I could also have some sort of text that is appearing over here that tells me okay uh, cheers obviously and here we go we could have the text cheers over here it's not very much visible so I could do is uh, please look at this carefully I could they make this white okay and I could press ctrl C copy it and ctrl V paste it I have two things so I'll make the bottom one black the top one is white I'll place this, I can press control plus to zoom in, 
and I would have something like this so it looks like as if it's a shadow the advantage of this will be control minus it's a bit more visible as, as you can see okay right okay so I'll save this as uh, v1 and control enter right I'll make another button for you let's make two buttons uh, dimension of a button was 100 by 40 I believe and again control R this time we'll be using uh, something else apart from that um, something for living room no that's a table okay we'll use these two this one and this one there we go so initially I have is this uh, sorry the dimension was 91 by 56 91 by 56 I'll place this here I'll press F8 make it a button I'll press Control F8 to make a movie clip which will be named as B2 I will place one of the image which was this one over here and till 15 I'll create this emotion twin here I would make the opacity to zero and at the end I would like to stop it I'll come back to scene one I'll double click on my button go over insert keyframe place my B1 on top of this I'll see how the effect goes works fine come back press control plus use over here and type over here is sofa set I hope that's the way you call it. you name it or something uh, sofa set so I'll press control C control V did I do it yes I did so I'll make the bottom one as black so that it looks like a shadow effect okay uh, and here we go so that it's much more visible that's what the point is okay here we go uh, control minus to see how it looks control enter and this is what we have file save us as b2 control enter to generate the swf file so we have our uh, top banner we have our buttons now i'll come to dreamweaver I'll open up HTML, file, save as, within my web activity, I'll name my first page as index.html. I'll make a table, which will have two rows and two columns. I will do one thing, is that I'll make the width of this as 1054, and I will make it center line. I will just stretch this a bit till here okay not much I will merge the top two columns so that I can insert my banner over here so I will go come to the media within the comment tab select flash and I will insert my banner over here right you can press F12 to see how it appears so this is how it's appearing within the HTML document later on what I can do is I would look I would like my buttons to appear over here from the top so if you want your cursor to come at the top in the vertical within the properties select top come over here within your uh, media and select v1 then press enter and select B2. Same way, you will be asked to make probably three, four buttons. Okay. Down over here, I want a place for the copyright. So I didn't do it initially. So I'll, I'll right click table, insert row columns. I would like to insert is a row below. I'll select this and I'll merge it. 
I could probably change the color of this if asked by the examiner to this color and I could write over here is copy rights 2016 okay and contact us at cloudy furniture at the rate of uh, I don't know yeah smoky dot com whatever I know, right so here we go we have this over here now I could do is I could add some text over here so I will just use the following text uh, right I'll just copy it and I'll place it over here just did paste it didn't I okay I did now I would like to do one thing is I would like to format this with a CSS file so I will have to create a CSS file uh, examiner will tell you that create a CSS file with a tag p paragraph tag that will have the following properties for example I'll create a tag within the CSS file that will have font as Verdana size 12 color dark blue and uh, come in block and make it justify apply so you have to find the CSS file okay file save as in the same folder as dot CSS come back here select the text that you have and make sure the selected text is in paragraph format now attach your style sheet with your HTML page. As soon as you do so, you will see is that your text has been formatted accordingly. Now, professionally speaking, um, there is too much. It should fulfill. It should not be like this. So I, I need to take this down. I need to add a bit more text to it. So I'll just copy and paste. Okay, here you go. This is what we have right now. And, and again, I'll just I'll take this to the top. How? Top. Right. So this is what we have. Uh, move this down. Somewhere in the middle. Uh, so let's press F12 and see what do we have till now. So this is what we have. This is what we made. We have our buttons. Okay. We have our dynamic banner in Flash we used CSS to format the text and we used HTML table to basically display all this within our page. Uh, so this was our discussion till today. We will continue this lecture further to add JavaScripting to it, which will be a very interesting part um, in which we will discuss the behavior layer, which is the third layer within our web development. Okay, till then, see you next time. Thank you.